We could have two types of circuits. You should have learned this in FICAM. This will just be a refresher for you. Series and parallel. <clears throat> we'll start with series. Why don't we? Uh, a series circuit would look something like this. Here I've got my battery, which is producing some voltage. I've got a resistor, I'll call it R1, and R2. All connected up into a closed circuit. Now, notice here about the, uh, the series circuit, all charges, or better yet, all the current, must flow through both resistors. Here I have my current, and it's flowing through R1, and then it flows through R2, and then it makes it way, its way back to the, the other end of the terminal. So all charges must move through both resistors. Or if I have more than two, it just flows through all of them. <clears throat> and over here, <clears throat> I'll draw my parallel circuit. I've got my voltage battery and I'll have a resistor here and a resistor here and then they regroup and I have a closed circuit. Here I would say the charges or the current pass through either R1 or R2. So here I'll draw my uh, current, this is the, the total current, it hasn't split off yet, but then it gets to this junction point and some of it goes up to this resistor, I'll call this I1, and then some of it goes to this one, I2. But each charge has to go either up or down, and then it meets back up over here, it regroups into its total current. And we could actually write an expression for that. We could say that I is equal to I1 plus I2. <coughs> um, so the resistors, this is R1, this is R2. The resistors and the voltage will determine the current in the wire or through the resistors at any given point. The resistors and the voltage from battery determines current. And that's where we're ultimately moving, uh, is how to figure out the current at any given point in a circuit, because from that we would be able to tell some, some things about a given circuit before we even hook it up. Uh, like in this circuit, if these two things were light bulbs, we know that both of them would have the same level of brightness because all of the current is going through both of them. Whereas over here, well, one thing to note about um, our current is that it takes the path of least resistance. Current takes the path of least resistance. So most of the current here will go to the resistor uh, that has the smallest resistance. Maybe that's R2. So if both of these were light bulbs with the same, uh, with this one being lower resistance and that, and that one being high, uh, higher resistance, then this light bulb would uh, br light up more than that light bulb, which would still light up a little bit, but most of the current is going through this R2. Um, <clears throat> And <coughs> we're also going to think uh, about this in later videos, but I'll mention it here, is that circuits uh, can be redrawn for simplicity so that it's instead of two resistors, just one resistor. And we're gonna use the word equivalence resistance when we redraw our entire diagram so that it's just a single, so that we have a single resistor 
uh, and a battery because that's easy to analyze and we've done that uh, in the past videos we did that here single battery single resistor we could find the current easy piece now it's a little bit more complicated but we will have a way to redraw these so that we ultimately get to that picture where it's just one battery one resistor um, but how could we measure this in, in a physical sense how could we make our measurements making measurements well we could measure our voltage with a voltmeter we'll measure voltage with a volt voltmeter so here's my circuit it has a, a voltage it's hooked up to a resistor and it's closed here I would take my voltmeter and I would connect it to this end and that end and here I'll say this is my voltmeter draw a circle over it within a parallel circuit I know that both of these parts will have the same voltage so parallel circuit both or both or all if there were three layers to this uh, both paths have the same voltage both paths have the same voltage so if I hooked that up there and there I could figure out the voltage drop over this resistor excellent for current I'd measure that with an ammeter let's look at another circuit here and here's my resistor here's my battery I would take my ammeter and I would just put it in to the circuit no need to create um, a, a different path because all of the current that goes through this ammeter will be the same current that goes through the resistor because in series all current goes through each resistor so we would just have our ammeter uh, be a device with a very low resistance so that it almost acts like a wire but we could measure something like the, the current so low R for ammeter <clears throat> and multimeters can do both multimeters can do both so just to reiterate on parallel circuits and uh, series circuits the parallel circuits in these circuits we have voltage across paths uh, equivalent So the voltage across this path to this path is the same. V1, V2, and they're equal to each other. In a series circuit, it's the current across the paths that's equivalent. Current across path or across resistors. Equivalent. So the current here, I1, is the same current here going through I2, and these two are equal to each other. That's a very long equal sign. Okay, that's it for now.